had a good trade on you. I think it's Unity Software. So I shouldn't have taken these. I don't know why I do them. When it's something like that, I just can't resist it. Took a couple quick 10 cent shorts here on the blow up. What I'm supposed to do is wait for the lower high. You see it right here? Starts to drop out of the lower high. I short it, add under the breakdown, grab some quick profit. Now this thing got me yesterday. I don't think I got a video on it, but it didn't get me. It, I would have rather had a loss. Let's put it that way. Let's see if I can show you. Well, anyway, let's finish this. So I caught it out of here, tried it again here. It scared me off. It was having a lot of trouble through here. There's uh, some resistance. This is the daily. There's a level right here. You can see where I got out here at the bottom. And I could see that on my trading charts in front of me. I got a, a, one, a one, two, one, two, three, or five minute, a 20 minute, and a daily. And I could see this level here. And this thing's zipping around, man. 10, 20 cents, popping up 30 cents, just snapping and coming back. And so it was kind of scary because it definitely would have passed my stop. And I didn't want to take, I had like a, at that point I had like 60, 80 bucks in profit sitting there. And I'm debating if it's going to break through this level right here. And I didn't really want to waste the whole 80 bucks because I only made a couple hundred. Well, almost 300, but on this particular trade, I was only up a couple hundred. And um, so when it started spiking up and I saw the guys here coming in, I just went ahead and closed it out. It did drop past that level, though. Actually, no, it didn't. Look, I was thinking of yesterday. Look at that. I got it right at the bottom. You can see I even added on the spike down under the whole number and close it out at 90. I could tell it was going to bounce. When you're reading the level two this good that you can tell that this is coming, you got you got something going. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're supposed to be able to surmise off of this. And it should work at least half the time, if not better. But you can see these guys come in. And what will happen is you'll see this move like a slinky, like before they come in. It's there's nothing really good here to show you. You can see you got some guys here. But these guys will slink out of the way and it'll be all low orders, like one, two, three hundred shares before it pops. But anyway. Okay, so I take it back again. I was looking at the wrong part of the trade. So it did drop under the level I was talking about earlier, which was right here. That was that daily level. And uh, I think, anyway, I didn't trust it in this level. It didn't look right. So I got out and then it did break down all the way. <laughs> I missed like another 50 cents, but whatever. I didn't trust it through here because now it's tangled above the VWAP. It's all tangled in itself. I was like, all right, let me take a small shares here and see if it's going to crack down because it got me yesterday. This thing can move quick. Uh, I'm going to show you the trade from yesterday. So I got it here for another 40, 30 cents, 40 cents. The small share size added to it. That's what got me up to 291. I think I was at like 230, 240. Okay, this is yesterday's trade, which I didn't get a video of, and it's not going to show the marks on here, but here's what happened. So I shorted it out of this flag, chased this candle down, added under the break, and I think I snapped it right here. I took profit. Because once again, this thing is pretty freaking volatile. I didn't know what it was going to do. In hindsight, I should have waited. It didn't even come back over 50. But anyway, it was small share size. It was on the open. It was five minutes in. I think I made, no, oh yeah, 98 bucks, okay? But the thing was, yeah, I didn't get that much. I cut it off short. I had 900 shares. I think I, sh that's what I did. I shorted it here, took profit right here at the bottom of this, some of it, which was only like 15 cents, maybe 20 cents. I took like 600 shares off. 
left at 300 and took it off at 50. Anyway, it was 98 bucks. And I'm like, all right, that was a decent first two second trade. It was literally seemed like three seconds. And then I had to watch this thing drop like another dollar <laughs> 75. So 1,750 bucks or about 1,500 bucks if I would have kept my 900 share. It was just gut wrenching, man. I would have rather have had a loss. I, I had no, these are two minute candles. I had to sit here and watch this thing filter down without a green candle for like a half hour. And then, of course, when it pops right here at yesterday's close, that's this dotted line. I'm like, no, it's too extended. I don't trust it. I'm not going to short it. I could have took a couple hundred shares here with the stop over here just to see if it breaks down again. I'm like, no, there's no way. It's got to at least run back up to the BWAP. There it goes again. Another, <laughs> another 80 cents. So a total of 38.20, 36, two dollars and 20 cents, and I got like 30 cents out of that. <laughs> oh man, it was gut wrenching. I hated it. it. That like ruined my whole day. I don't know why.